Okay, we are fully loaded. We're off on a three and a half hour drive, four hour drive, Albion Hills. We're going to Overland North, the gathering once again. We're invited, we're gonna go early to help set up and volunteer. And I'm just excited to do a full test run of everything that's changed with the chuck box. Got the e-bike and all my camping gear inside. Let's hit the road and get ourselves to Albion Hills. I'd like to say thank you again to Canback Technologies for providing a self-heated 100 amp hour lithium battery with Bluetooth monitoring chip add-on as a prize for this weekend. If you don't know already, Canbat is the longest supporters of the channel. They're a Canadian company that sell high quality electronics. They offer everything you need to build your off-grid system. Be sure to check them out, link down in the description below. This is the first time I'm opening it. He swung by our house. That's a giant tent. So what do you do with the back now, now that you're sleeping in a tent? Baby and wife. In there? Yeah. I'll be for baby and wife, or this weekend it'll be my, my office, I guess. We are dialed in. There's a setup all at night. Good morning. Yeah, I slept in the tent last night and it was really comfortable. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed. And we got lots of room, which is really cool. I appreciate that. Oh. Yeah. Time to make some dinner, and today we're using some trusty catch and cook. Make sure to check out the link in the description. Get 10% off catch and cook, and I can't recommend it enough. I'm gonna fry some walleye that I caught this season. A little taster, bon appetit. Mm-hmm, that hits the spot. Good morning. 
Today is a big day and it is going to be busy. It is going to be bumping. There's a lot of people here. I'm excited. We've been here since Thursday, just help setting up, volunteering and doing our part. So this morning I have a clinic, a presentation, which I'm excited. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good one. So stay tuned. I'm still not used to the fact that the truck box has like a double decker level now. Today we are gonna do some walk around. And honestly guys, there's, there's so many people and so many things here, it is really impossible to capture the full experience. You just have to be here in person if you can. I do my best to try to capture the environment, but honestly, it doesn't do it justice. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make some coffee here though first because uh, I need it. Looks like a nice, beautiful day. Weather's good. There's a complete fire ban on now, unfortunately. Forest fires and everything. Ontario is basically on fire. It's not great. We need rain. It's too dry. It is what it is. And at this point, you know, we're just here to enjoy and have some good time. I'll give you guys a bit of a tour of everything all set up here. And yeah, there's been quite a few updates. And obviously now you see the big rooftop tent on top, double decker chuck box. Oh, we got the 270 degree awning all deployed. The string lights up, then jack all done and completed. And you can see it there. I unhooked the truck and then I jack up the trailer and then lower it onto the jacks. And so I got two up front and one in the back and it just stabilizes everything. But I still put a little bit of pressure on the jack. The more feet, the more points you have touching the ground, the better. The ground's slightly uneven, so I had to back it up onto my traction board there. But now it's nice and level. My electric e-bike, awesome tool. It's so nice to have, especially at an event like this. There's kilometers and kilometers of biking trails. Just this event itself has a lot of landscape that we have to cover. So having an e-bike is awesome. It, getting a lot of use this weekend. It's been here for two days now and people have been riding it all day long. We still have four bars of power, so that's impressive. Oh, we got the Tacoma, and I just got this cap on. I am so happy with it. I didn't have time to really outfit it yet, but as you can see here, I'm making full use of it. I got the set power USA 12 volt fridge. I got it hooked up to my CanBat 12 volt little portable power pack that I built myself, and that's been running for a few days now. I can just use my phone, figure out how much battery I have left, right? This battery has a Bluetooth enabled battery monitor, which is really handy. And that'll get me through the rest of the weekend. On the side there, I got my front runner pack out kit and it's a mess. I've been living here for two days now, so it's expected. And uh, my water and stuff. And eventually this is all gonna get figured out and kitted properly, but I just threw everything in the truck on the way here. And this is in like office mode, I guess. I've been using this to work at my laptop, plug it in, nice comfortable little space. Kind of have it on display for this weekend with the ice fishing rod and stuff. The trailer's been getting lots of attention and I got the kitchen all there set up. You know, you guys seen this before, but the new feature on this side is the rooftop tent. This tent is a big boy. It weighs about 200 pounds and it is essentially the bed size is the same as the one with the full size bed in the chalk box. So it's like just under a queen size bed and I can't believe how much room is up there, but it fits so nice with the uh, contractor aluminum rails that came with the trailer. It's very sturdy. I'm not worried about the trailer collapsing or anything like that. I made sure to check out with my trailer manufacturer beforehand to see if it could handle the weight and they said they had no worries. And uh, yeah, the ladder doesn't quite reach the top, but it does sit nice on uh, the top rail of the roof here. Inside, it's just so spacious and I love that I'm like kind of sleeping with the trees here. Got a nice little covered view. And yes, for those that are gonna point it out, I did cover my solar panel. So right now it's not really being effective, but eventually that will get relocated onto the top of the rooftop tent.
<laughs> what do you think the problem is? <laughs> Finally let him do this. walking around vendor village it is crazy there's so many people here and so many vendors and cool things it's really impossible to capture just the wealth of knowledge of gear you have to come to an overland north event in person to truly get the full experience it is it is cool what did you say Travels. Taylor's travels. Yeah. With 30. With Taylor's travels. You guys giving away some prizes or something? We are. We're going to give away a whole bunch of prizes. Okay. That's better. Okay, folks. So, as always, we're very proud to have some amazing people help us out with these events. What do you guys think of the park? It's pretty great, right? sort of unorthodox for them to let us like dig up their field and do an off-road test track and have all these four by fours here they're usually running or biking or something around here you just want yourself a big freezer buddy that's an awesome your dad that won it yeah. okay well congratulations thank you winning on the canbat battery it's an awesome battery he's gonna be super excited yeah yeah awesome yeah. cool that's good thank you very much for donating yeah no problem cool thank you okay. yeah. So at the gathering this year they have a little off-road course where they're teaching proper techniques on how to drive off-road and technical terrain. There's a line up here, everyone wants to go and test out their rig. We're going to put the trailer to the test and we're going to pull a trailer up here. So it's going to be quite interesting, definitely going to test the limit and I just installed the max coupler hitch so now we're going to see it in full articulation mode. I want you to remember these phrases or these kind of pieces of terminology. Technique before technology, so using good driver skill, mechanical sympathy. So not beating your car up, not trying to drag it on the ground. Slow as possible, as fast as necessary. That means the slower you go, the less suspension compression you have, the less weight transfer, the more control you have. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
Super proud, that was really cool. I've never taken the trailer through something like that. That was quite intense. And I don't know if it looks like it on camera, but there was times I was fighting to stay in the seat of the truck. Really impressed with the 23 Tacoma and impressed with the max coupler hitch. You're not gonna get this anywhere else. So make sure to check out Overland North. Come to these events. You can get driver training on how to do proper maneuvers off-road and make sure that you don't break your gear. So thanks for watching, stay tuned. On to the next one.